Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be looking at a rotary tool, kind of like a Dremel, made by this company. And so I wanna get a little bit more crafty this year, and this is the reason why I got one of these. So let's see what this one looks like. So I got this from Amazon and this is the package it came in. I went ahead and cut the top. It looks like we have the case in there. All right, so this is what the case looks like. Very nice. I guess these things have to have a case because it does have quite a few parts in there. All right, let's open these up. We've got little arrows here indicating. Hopefully we're not gonna have all kinds of stuff flying out of there. So here we have a Looks like some kind of maybe manual and some tools in there. A little wrench, Allen screw, and it appears to be like a set of extra brushes. Well, that's really cool. So it looks like we have a bunch of accessories here, but let's go ahead and just go straight to the grinder here. I think is what they call it. I guess we could call it a Dremel. Wow, that actually feels really good. But a lot more heavier than I thought it was going to be. So I don't have much experience with this kind of stuff. So I might say a few things wrong. Here's the specs on it. So here is the front of it, and it looks like this piece unscrews here so here we have where you put in you know like a drill bit or whatever you want to put in there and there's a button right here that stops it you can lock it in that way you can tighten and untighten the little uh, holder the cable seems to be fairly long i would say about four feet or so not that long long enough probably to reach most things so here on the side of the grinder we can see that there is the speed adjustment so it looks like this is just a set speed of one through five and then you got off on the way on the top. Well, actually it is not one through five because there's a lot more clicks in between. It looks like it has a lot more increments than that. All right, so that looks pretty awesome. Let's move on here. It looks like we have an extension. So this is made to go on the grinder and then you know you can have like, like a flexible wand in your hand. So this is a really cool addition. I think most of these tools come with this. So here looks like we have some kind of shield. And I think the way all this little accessory stuff go on is pretty simple. You just unscrew that. Yeah, there we go. Put this on and then screw this back on. So now you kind of like have a shield. So here we have, it looks like some kind of little routing tool or something. Put the grinder in here and then put a blade in there and then you can move this thing. And it might be for a bunch of other things too. I'm not sure. But in any case, it has this little adapter here. Here we have a couple of containers of something. So in this one looks like we have a bunch of little... Okay, yeah, so they're just little tiny grinding discs. And that's a pretty generous amount in there, I guess. And this, I'm not sure what this is. So it looks like some sort of compound or something. I don't know if this is, this is probably a buffing compound now that I think about it. So I kind of stuck my finger in there and it feels like a little bit like a clay or a rubbing compound. So that's probably what that is. And now we go to this little kit here and it makes sense what that compound was. It, it appears to be for the uh, buffers there, those little foam pads right there. So let's pop this thing open. It's nice that it comes with this, nice and organized. But here you can see guys, there's a bunch of little attachments here that you can grind with. And then we have like these little slip-on sandpaper looking stuff. I guess that goes on this little tool here. And here's the adapter for the buffers, I think. Also, they give you a little wheel wire. That's really nice if you wanted to, you know, clean something metal off, like metal threads or something. And also in here, there's actually drill bits. There's definitely a lot of pieces in there, large grinding disc so it appears to be like sanding pads like a stick on sand pad and look what else it comes with guys it actually comes with a little saw that's so cool oh, it definitely comes with a bunch of different cool stuff and it all packs away nice and it's not gonna fly around everywhere all right so i got the little grinder plugged in let's go ahead and see if it uh, works here so i'm gonna go ahead and go one down Okay, so it does have intervals as I go down slowly. It seems to speed up. So every click definitely speeds it up a little more. That's full speed right there. 
And that's not that loud either. It's actually reasonably quiet. So I was kind of curious what the RPM was, and it says from 8 to 30,000. I don't know if that's correct. It doesn't seem that way, but maybe it is. All right, so I think I finally figured out how to put the extension on. On the extension part, there is flexible rod that goes in there. And all you do is you got to pull it out because it actually pulls out. And then you can put it in the grinder part. And then after that, you can tighten it right here. So once you tighten that, and then you can put this on it. So here we have the other end. Let's go ahead and try to make it go. And there it goes. It's spinning away. So the wrench and the Allen wrench that they give you is for putting on tools. Like the wrench fits on there. And the Allen wrench is actually here for this hole. That way you can hold it still when you put the new tool on. Put it on there. Tighten it up. And then just torque it. And now we have this little tool on that we can put a little sanding paper on here. And the way you tighten that is with the screwdriver there. As it tightens, it'll expand and it'll hold the sandpaper. So now we can give it a little spin. And that's the way that works. So another cool little tool that it includes is this little chuck here for the drill bits, looks like. As you can see there, you can put, you know, a drill bit in there or whatever other tool you need and clamp it really good. So that's really cool. I think I would probably use this more. So yeah, guys, as you can see, this is a pretty cool little kit. And it's definitely got all the little parts you would need to get started. So I'm pretty excited about this kit because I'm getting into more building things. This will help me dramatically in more finer detail builds and things like that. So, so and there's a lot of unique things you can do with a set like this. So if you're into crafting or just building or you have a little hobby, then this is something that's definitely useful to have. And these things have gone down in price quite a bit. So, you know, if you go with name brands, obviously you're going to pay quite a bit more. But some like this, you know, is in a reasonable price range where everyone can have one. So if you're interested in something like this, guys, I'll leave some links in the description. Check it out. I got this on Amazon. So this seems like a great kit and I'm going to be enjoying it. And you're probably going to be seeing it in future videos. So if you enjoy videos like this, guys, and I do a bunch of other things on this channel and you're not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, then hit that like button. And stay tuned, guys, for a lot more interesting stuff to come. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.